And here's the first star that's not the one that we already got before, Dino Piranha. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh my god, this fucking music. Oh, I love it. I don't give a damn if I, for some reason, orgasm to that. I fucking love the music in this game. Alright. Hey guys, this is Advanced Logic. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, where everything's made up, then points don't matter. Of course, because I am loving it. I am loving the music. <laughs> Better let you guys listen to it. Anyway. In the last part, we started off this Let's Play. And here we are in the Good Egg Galaxy, the first galaxy of this game. And here we are trying to get the... I don't know, this one called Dino Piranha. Alright, so let's try collecting all these uh, star bits. I'm going to be quiet as you guys listen to the music. I feel so pathetic. And grab that coin, grab that coin, grab that coin. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Seriously. I love how they... I like how they made... They used an entire orchestra to actually make this music for this game. And yet it still feels like a game. Or sounds like game music. Not like fully sophisticated... Oh my god. Yes. With my freaking... Uh, Ow, son of a... I'm trying to say they made it sound sophisticated, yet it sounds like a game at the same time. Anyway, just shake the Wiimote to make your way across that freaking whip. I'm not going to try explaining most of this crap because... Yeah, it's pretty simple to pick up just from watching alone, because it is a Mario game, of course. You really don't have to explain much. I mean, such as spinning, all this other crap. It's pretty much easy to pick up. The moment, the moment you look at it, the moment you try it. Man. Holy crap. Son of a crap. Get off me, buddy. Get off me. Ha-ha! And I just keep remembering back to, like, those one Super Mario... Or Super Luigi Galaxy videos I made in response to Chuck Conroy's... Like, videos, like, a long while back. Uh, it's kind of good to actually be playing this again. Anyway, if you guys see... I kind of, like... I like to think that these enemies right here are like shrews from Partners in Time. That's what I like to think anyway. I know they have like another name, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, as I told you guys before, be sure to collect lots and lots of star bits. Holy crap. Damn, how did that tail fit in that egg? Unless it was outside the whole time. In which case, that is one breached A. Anyway, simple boss. You guys saw the tail. You saw me slamming into it. So that's all we got to freaking do. And trying to do it. There we go. Jesus. He's pissed. <laughs> God damn it. That's like the first time I ever used. He's pissed. And I loved it. Seriously. I like pissing off Dino Piranhas. Just for shits and giggles. Get back here. Get the... There we go. <laughs> I killed a baby. I love it. Not that kind of baby. Not a human baby. Don't misunderstand it. If you're not even watching. <laughs> uh, our first regular star. Alright. Let's get more. More! Ah, I'm a greedy bastard like that. And as I, told, as I also told you guys before, coins really don't matter much in this game. I hear they do matter in Super Mario Galaxy 2, but I've never really played it yet because... Yeah, Star Bits, Tulumas, they they're very fucking tasty. Aim your troll stick at Wiimote at the screen and point something like that. Once you have some, shoot. Pretty much you could point at the screen pick to pick them up. You can actually pick him up with pick him up with Mario himself, but and you could also press B uh, to actually shoot him. 
Let's call those little morsels my fee for this lesson. Yeah, no. Shoot them at enemies or feed them to a hungry Luma. Either way, I'm sure star bits will help. Yes, much more than freaking coins. Seriously. And let's go back into the good egg galaxy because nothing else of importance has happened yet. Onward to the second star. A snack of cosmic proportions. Uh huh. And music, music. Yes. Die, shrews! Die. There we go. All right, enough of the music, wandering and such, and read. Gone for a long time. Need to get in. Use the pipe on the other side. All right, cool, buddy. Very cool. Uh, wonder if is it this one? Maybe. Maybe it just takes it. Yeah, it just takes us to the other freaking side. Never mind. Also, if you guys see like these rocks that form a circle formation, if you spin in the middle of them, you get a whole bunch of star bits. So yeah, if you run low on star bits, or if you need star bits like for later on, yeah, make good use of it. You can shoot these star bits with bees. Blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah, we know this already. We had this explained to us before we even started this star, man. Man. I'm not a part of your system! I don't even know. <laughs> and... Damn, that one transformed into four. That is awesome! And bypassing all of those... <laughs> very, very nice, very nice indeed. And there we go. And what's over here? Huh. A launch star. And let's kill this guy. Kick! Hey, get back here. Kick! Star bits. There we go. 30 star bits. And more star bits. Ah, you gotta love it. Star bit collecting everywhere in this bitch. At least it's not like level grinding in an RPG. And let's go. I may have missed something, but oh freaking well. And those star bits are following me. And screw this star. And here we go. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna be hunting for stuff. I think we need at least 50 star bits in order to, like, get through this uh, mission and I wonder where this goes just for the coin seriously what the F the coins don't matter in this game just like the points don't matter and as much as everything is made up okay enough referencing my intro there we go okay I think for this let's play I'm gonna do like the intro where everything's made up and the coins don't matter <laughs> I'm gonna love doing that. Because, yeah, seriously, the coins don't freaking matter in this game. You got any star bits? You feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. A hundred. Holy crap, I am way off. Okay. I'll BRB, buddy. BFF. My BFF, Jill. And there we go. Need lots of star bits. Lots and lots of star bits. I think later on, like, enemies will give you star bits if you spin into them and then run into them. For now, though, let's go hunting for more. And I think I just missed out a couple. Of them. There we go. There we freaking. Hey, get back here. Never mind. Screw you, dude, guy. Oh, fuck you, guy. I think it was already on this planet. Damn it. Kimmy, I need star bits, buddy. Oh, wait, I think I could have destroyed those plants. Oh, freaking well. And I was trying to shake. Never mind. Never freaking mind. Oh, yeah. And if you guys see these rocks right here. Like, they have a little red spot. That's their weak spot right there. So you just got to spin into it at the right time. And you get a whole bunch of star bits. Like, I learned that. I was like, holy crap. And, damn it. Well, I got enough star bits. Screw this. Let's go back to that Luma. Where is he at? There we go. Well, there's this long star. Holy crap. How long have I spent on these first two stars alone? Anyway, like, eight minutes? And screw this launch star. I always get the launch and pull star names mixed up. Anyway, just aim at them. And let's fill them up. Holy crap, obesity. Holy mother of crap. Dude! Stop! Stop it, man! That's it, I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform! That must have been so freaking painful, man. Oh well! Can't let his weight 
and can't let his misery go to waste. Seriously, how much, how painful do you think plastic surgery is to like women who get like big honking tits and shit? And how painful do you think transforming into a planet is? I'm pretty sure like, <laughs> man, if a Luma talked to a woman, and I'm pretty sure, or a woman with plastic surgery and like she's complaining like, oh, it's so painful. And he's like, you think that's painful? Try transforming into a freaking planet. Anyway, I think I'm just, there we go. Ah, there we go. Aha! Bypassed a whole bunch of stuff. I wonder if there's any star bits I can collect. Yeah, none. Oh, this music right here. Like, at times, it's just like, holy crap, this is so calming. Oh, wait, I think I have to look for, like, an entrance. I thought I had to go to the other end. Yeah, whatever. We'll find it someday, maybe. I know it's on somewhere around here. Yeah, it should be. Hopefully. Either that or I have to do something. There we go. Oh, you have to do two spins in enemies in order to get uh, star bits. Oh, right here. There we go. Anyway, this game is really going to disorient you because, like, you could just, like, gravity changes a lot. As you guys will... Ah, damn, I'm trying to get my way up there. Screw it. It'll show you right here. There we go. So, yeah, you're going to have to learn how to adjust, like, to gravity and such accordingly. And keep a watchful eye on what to actually do. Oh, wait. Damn it! Damn it! Alright, decided to cut that out because you actually have to make your way past this and keep going as such and screw you buddy screw you and let's just make our way over the way over here we'll just follow the star bits of course and screw you screw you coins don't matter let's go and bam not as painful as transforming And now we just gotta collect these, uh, pull star pieces. Come to think of it, like, you know how, like, uh, Lumas transform into pull stars and launch stars and all this other crap? Planets? Which, by the way, must be the most painful transformation of all. Like, imagine how painful it is, like, afterwards, and then they get broken up into all these pieces. Holy crap, I don't even know. And trying to- Hey! Work with me, controller. Work with me here. There we go. And now we just gotta use the pull stars accordingly, but I... Screw that! Aw, oh, damn it! I was, <laughs> I was trying to be all slick and trying to grab that uh, with a... Uh, and crap. There we go. Holy crap, I spent like 12 minutes getting two stars. Oh, this is a sign of what's to come. Heh. <laughs> Um, anyway. You know, for kids. So yeah, if there's anyone under the age of like 13 watching this, and you're learning like a whole bunch of new phrases or words and stuff, parental, per parental permission, please. Anyway, now we discovered a new galaxy, and now the more power stars, of course, that we find, the more galaxies we will find along the way. Anyway, I think I'm going to do one more freaking star. And believe it or not, I am considering not doing any of these in the proper order. Well, maybe. I don't know. Let's get the last one here in the Good A Galaxy. Screw it. I don't know if I want to do them all in order, if I just want to say screw it and I'll do them whatever order I want to. Anyway, King Caliente's Battle Elites. Oh my god, it's a Mexican. Yay! I'm happy because I never thought there'd be Mexicans in a Mario game. That is awesome. And enough appreciating the music because otherwise there's yeah, not much commentary going on there. But then again, that is saying the music is beautiful, man. Anyway, better look for like an entrance on the other side right here. I think that's the pipe that took us to this entrance. And uh, crap, I don't even know. I don't know, man. Oh, wait, I think it's at the very top. Like where we found that one Luma. And let's go. Should be somewhere right here. Or not. Never mind. Just grabbing star bits then. I can't remember. I. You guys can clearly tell I have not done a like practice run of this game. Yeah, let's 
sake. F hey, get the hell off me. Never mind then. Yeah, damn it. Maybe it's on this side. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know anymore. Or maybe it's... Hey, don't even bother. You goddamn shrewd. Nope. Seriously, I don't know where. And I'm trying to, trying to jump. Son of a crack addict. <laughs> there we go. That's what I was trying to do. Oh, it's right here. Derp. All right. And here's where it's gonna show off more disorientation. And a coin looking my bobber. And let's collect these. Oh, well, that's nice. Let's just grab this one up. Or try try to, anyway. There we go. And, yes, of course, this game is going to give you one-ups like crazy. Anyway, let's just try getting... I'm just going to... Optimization mode now. I'm just going to do whatever the hell it takes. I think we have to save all these guys. Not entirely sure about that. I know we have to do something with these coconuts. Such as aim at this looking... There we go. Yeah, let's go. And, oh wait, we have to get another coconut somewhere over here. Or we have to kill this with a coconut. Maybe. And... Die! Die, you freaking thing! There we go. Stab on you, and let's go. And these are freaking chain chomp heads, if you guys see right here. Anyway, these actually sometimes replace like those one heads with the uh, like the weakness, so that we so these actually can't be broken by normal means. Anyway, anyway, if you and damn the camera, but of course we have this to show off. Now we have Rainbow Mario, and this is the equivalent of a uh, 2D Mario games star where we have invincibility. With this, we could destroy the. Chain Chomp Heads, hey, don't want to do that. And they give, I think, a little bit more star bits, a bit more star bits than, like, the usual. And I want to try doing... Ah, damn it! <laughs> I was trying to try to run in through that. With that, you know what I was trying to do. I was trying to run through the little electricity things right there. And holy crap. And there we go. And let's just make our way up. Yeah. And shrooms everywhere. Holy crap. And let's just kill him. And let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry if that sounded kind of obnoxious, but yes. I'm all trying to shake while, like, it barely shows up. Because it has, like, a slight pause between, like, when the launch star actually shows up and when you could actually shake your way in there. Oh, right. And there's these enemies right here. They just launch coconuts at you, and you can just slam them back at them. They also shoot flaming coconuts, so yeah, I might want to avoid those. Honestly, why am I even explaining this? It seems very pointless. And... Shroobs! Shroobs! Launch star. Slight lag. There we go. That would be awesome if you had to time... It, like, you have to time when to actually go through the launch star so you don't hit those fans. Nah, actually, come to think of it, yeah, that would be stupid. Very stupid. And... Hello there, Mexican man. Of course, this is King Caliente. King Caliente. Holy crap. Of course, he's going to be shooting a bunch of stuff at you. Hit the coconut back at him, of course. Holy crap, why am I sliding? And there we go. There we go. Man, it's like Dead Man's Volley in Legend of Zelda. And now he's pissed! They all get pissed, man. Why do they all get pissed? There we go. And... Aha! Well, that was incredibly easy. Please tell me... Aw, oh, man! What would have been awesome if they added, like, some challenge to getting the stars? Like, if you had to 
like long jump right at the middle of the lava to grab it. But whatever. For now, we've actually completed the good egg galaxy as far as we can actually do it. Eh, do it. I really gotta stop doing those jokes. Anyway, I think I'm gonna call it quits for this part. So guys, so if you like this part, give it a like, subscribe if you want to watch future videos, and feel free to watch any of my previous videos if you really feel like it. Next time on Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, we're gonna be exploring that new galaxy that we got, the Honey Hive Galaxy. So see you guys then.